Well, it's a big day, the budget, also because it's happening for the first time in the last so many years in a coalition government. So a lot of question marks about whether the government can handle the troika of fiscal consolidation, uh, which is the central point, and um, give allies a bit of their pound of flesh, but at the same time, uh, keep focus on capex as well as consumption. So it's a difficult thing to manage, but I think most expectations seem to suggest that the government will definitely stick on the fiscal glide path. If anything, they'll probably do one better than what they, what they suggested in the interim budget. Now, maybe the RBI dividend that has come in helps the government give some bit of an impetus on the demands for the allies as well. Most people pencil into about 0.2% of the GDP, the demand that the allies have, which is TDP as well as Bihar. Uh, and remember, the RBI dividend was about 0.4% of the GDP that the government got. So in some sense, there is a bit of headroom that the government got as a result of uh, this whole piece that they did uh, with the Reserve Bank of India dividend. So that is part one. Uh, if the fiscal consolidation is met or bettered upon, it will probably hold India in good stead in the eyes of rating agencies globally. That's part two. The crucial and the most important part is, can the government balance out both capex as well as some bit of consumption thrust because the rural consumer is hurting? And is there some focus that the government will have to do ahead of three or four key state elections in the next six to nine odd months? Or will the government say that we are going to do what we've done all through this while, and that is manage a tight lid on freebies and focus on capex because that generates both growth as well as employment, and at the same time, maintain the fiscal glide path. So I think those are the key questions that everybody needs to watch out for. But remember, much to the, uh, much as people are skeptical about how much headroom the government has, robust tax collections plus the Reserve Bank of India dividend gives that little bit of a headroom to the government to be able to meet some of the targets without disturbing the others.